All right, one more video about my Naomi setup. I now have, a, it's now called YPI setup on my Raspberry Pi 4 there. Turns out the problem was that the image, the image I wasn't, I was working with just like wasn't compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4. I got a new one that had more features um, by looking at the forks of it on GitHub and installed that and apparently it works fine. Um, Right now, I had this loaded up on my other phone, uh, my old one, and I can see all my Naomi games here, including like some, I think this is a homebrew one right here. Um, I had to add some stuff to this manually and change some values. It took me like two hours uh, to change all the values in this CSV, and then I had to go to uh, the menu, go to setup, and then um, import CSV from boot drive here, uh, which was... Just kind of a pain, but, you know, it's no huge deal. Um, and I'm able to add, like, favorites and stuff here, so I can go to favorites and see all my favorite uh, Naomi games. So, yeah, there you go. Got Ikaruga here. I, I, I love Ikaruga. Um, we're going to go with... Uh, let's see. I know Sega Tetris works. Let's see if this one will load. I hit this, I hit launch game, it says loading, my monitor back here restarted. The monitor back there says now loading. I'm back to this screen, which means uh, my Raspberry Pi is done, I think. Now let's see if this works. I'm going to go through the checking. I might pause it if it needs to go through that super long. Hello. It was working. It was just taking a sec. I had to pause the recording because it took a sec for it to boot up here, but it is working. Or at least it looks like it, you know. Yep. Monkey Tetris. Now, I have one more thing to test. I, uh, because I was getting down about, like, nothing working, and it turns out my problem was just the, uh, just the problem with, you know, uh, it being the wrong Raspberry Pi for the mission, you know. Uh, I had this Adafruit plate, I took it apart, uh, I, took it, I took it off the GPIO pins because they weren't working. I'm going to see if this Adafruit plate works. Yeah, I, uh, I put it on and uh, it seems like it's not working. The buttons don't seem to do much. I adjusted the contrast knob just a little bit. Uh, doesn't seem to work. I might have just put it together wrong. I'm really bad at soldering. This is my first like solder project that involved a lot of uh, solder points. I probably have a few uh, cold solder points in there, but because I have the uh, the method where I could just do it over Wi-Fi using my phone, um, I'm not too torn up about it. So just a fun fact here, um, you can go to literally any website and it will actually work here. Um, I'm not sure what's wrong with like the, the letters up here, it's a little weird. Like, it only goes to certain letters, which I find really strange, but... Um, I do like the fact that you can choose which system you want to load stuff from. I had to change a bunch of values in this CSV because I had the wrong ROM set. I think I already explained that. Um, I uh, do think that this is a pretty good way to do it. Um, although, don't be like me and download the wrong ROM set. Uh, however, mine has the more updated Atomus Wave games. And the Atomus Wave games do run on uh, Naomi. Uh, I apparently have all of them here, but I had to like rename all my stuff because I wanted to use the ROM set that had the Atomus Wave games in it. Don't be like me. <laughs> Although uh, it would be easy enough to just swap them out and only change those, but you know, I, I did I did the things the hard way. Um, I also added a few things like uh, at the bottom of the main game list uh, that includes everything. I have the firmware update for Naomi NetDim 4.02, uh, just in case you know you're you're at someone's house. They want their Naomi updated, but they can't find the file. <laughs> Go ahead, give it to them, I guess. Yep, it works, though.